Hey guys! I am going to be talking about real-time OS and multiprocessing OS. For real-time OS background, a real-time operating system is a system that allows users to open different tabs simultaneously within an amount of time and it is designed to perform tasks at a very accurate timing and with a very high degree of reliability. Here are some examples of a real-time OS. Now we are going to look into the background of multiprocessor OS, where the usage of two or more central processing units CPU, within a single computer system is referred to as a multiprocessor operating system. There are two types of multiprocessor operating systems, one is asymmetric multiprocessing and the other is symmetric multiprocessing. Now here are some examples of a multiprocessor operating system. Why do we need these? For real-time operating systems, there is a need for RTOS when there is an application where the tasks need to be executed concurrently. RTOS allows there to be several tasks to be in a memory simultaneously and it can switch between these tasks based on the priority of the task. There is also preemption. Preemption is the ability to ignore one task when there is a task that is higher prioritized. Why do we need these? For a multiprocessor operating system is needed as it processes each given task with more than one processor. With this, the performance of a system's application environment can be enhanced beyond the capacity of a single processor. This allows for performance tuning of the server network to get the desired functionality. What is the application? A hard real-time operating system is when the operating system can give a guaranteed maximum amount of time for the task to be carried out within the time frame and if the timing is not met, serious consequences might occur. What is the application? A soft real-time operating system is when the operating system is relaxed on its timing and it is okay to miss the deadlines, even if the deadlines are missed, there will not cause any consequences. What is the application? An asymmetric multiprocessing AMP, system is a multiprocessor computer system in which not all of the linked central processing units CPUs, receive equal treatment. Only a master processor executes the operating system duties in an asymmetric multiprocessing AMP, system. What is the application? A symmetric multiprocessing SMP, system is a multiprocessor computer software and hardware architecture in which two or more identical processors are linked to a single, shared main memory and have complete access to all input and output devices. Symmetric multiprocessing SMP, system, in other words, is a kind of multiprocessing in which each processor schedules itself. Where is it being used? RTOS is used in embedded systems like in the airline industry and traffic control systems. You can find RTOS in systems that will require immediate updating like in an airbag system and a car brake system. Where is it being used? The multiprocessor operating systems are often utilized when processing a huge amount of data at a rapid rate is necessary. They are commonly utilized in environmental applications such as satellite control and weather forecasting. Now we are going to go through the in-depth review and discussion. What's so special about it? For RTOS, it is known to provide a hard real-time response, allowing quick and highly responsive inputs. Its highest priority task will always run as long as it needs to. RTOS is extremely reliable and time efficient as well. What's so special about it? From Bose, the multitasking operating system works on more than one tasks, by switching between in a very quick manner. This allows for efficiency and allows the system to switch smoothly between tasks. How does it differ from other OS? The RTOS is specifically designed to run applications at a very precise timing with a high degree of reliability. It is reliable because it has the ability to suspend and resume its tasks even at a later time or even for a lifetime. Control scheduling, the RTOS can effectively handle interrupts based on priority, expected to meet algorithmic deadlines regardless of how poorly the scenario may become. There are two types of multiprocessing, symmetric multiprocessing and asymmetric multiprocessing. 
Multiprocessing system has more than one processor and they can execute multiple process simultaneously. In symmetric multiprocessing, processor shares the same memory. In asymmetric multiprocessing there is a one master processor that controls the data structure of the system. What are the pros and cons of it compared to other OS? RTOS pros deliver task scheduling RTOS priority based scheduling decides which tasks should be executed at a particular time, ensure the program functions fast and responds efficiently. Standard OS prioritize executing as much processing as possible in the quickest amount of time while RTOS prioritizes predictable response times. RTOS pros focus on applications. RTOS processes fewer applications or tasks are managed, and exact results on current execution work are provided, whereas standard OS take priority running as many applications as possible, with less emphasis on applications durable. RTOS uses durable hardware to sustain harsh conditions for long periods. RTOS Pros works as a 24-7 system, and run reliably for many days, months, or years as long as it needs to, runs 24-7 without a downtime, automatically restart the entire computer if the user program stops running. RTOS, Cons Limited Concentration Only can run a few tasks at the same time to avoid errors, their concentration is limited to a few applications. RTOS, Cons Complex Algorithm Can make it difficult for developers to edit the algorithm, more uncomfortable to program than the usual desktop operating systems. RTOS code needs to be extremely precise as event handling of tasks with RTOS is strict. RTOS, Cons Low Multitasking Operating System The system may only run a few tasks at once and stay focused on them. Unlike a general purpose operating system which can be used to run multiple tasks in the background. Pros, pros time sharing. This decreases lag, and increases efficiency. Handles multiple users. Multitask operating systems can handle multiple users running multiple tasks at the same time, without lag or glitches. All users of the operating system are given a suitable amount of processor time. Pros, pros protected memory. Unauthorized applications are not given permission to overuse memory, therefore coming to the conclusion that memory is better managed in multitasking operating systems. Efficient virtual memory. This allows for extreme efficiency, as the transfer to virtual memory means that the other programs aren't delayed and a backlog of programs waiting to be executed doesn't occur. Pros, pros programs can run in the background. Despite not being physically visible to the computer user, the operating system will have background applications running to maintain and make sure that other programs are running smoothly and efficiently. Increases reliability in the system. The operating runs smoothly when multitasking. Programs and users alike will feel the efficiency. Pros, pros. Utilize multiple programs and computer resources, the system can handle multiple applications at the same time, like a web browser, MS Word etc. Furthermore, the computer hardware like the RAM, processors, hard drives, input slash output devices are better managed in multitasking operating systems. Pros, cons, limitation of memory. Due to running multiple applications slash programs at the same time, a computer system's memory could become overloaded with too many programs, as the memory tries to give each program runtime. Pros, cons. Dependency on the processor. Despite having a multitask operating system, the system performance will ultimately still depend on the processor specification. Therefore, the lower the spec on the processor, the slower it is for it to manage programs, thus such processors cannot process many heavy-duty programs at the same time efficiently. Pros, cons. CPU overheating. 
In a multitask operating system, the processor is always busy due to it carrying out multiple actions for multiple programs, therefore the more demand is required the more heat generation from the CPU will incur. To sum up this thing for not big brain people, these two operating systems are both good in their own ways depending on what you need and require of it and if your work requires you to attain one of these operating systems, there is always their own good and bad to it. Thanks for watching this video. Stay safe.